Hello and welcome, this is Melskinner, and we're back with some more Warhammer 40k Gladius. And let's just continue moving men. We're just getting men over to enemy city so we can pound it into dust and get ourselves a victory. Fortunately, I wasn't able to progress along my quest line too far. Or this sentinel over here. I definitely want to be able to use my tank in some capacity before this campaign is over. Okay, there we go. A robot and orcs. Ah, robot's going to try and escape. Damage to me. We have good action fire here. I'm not sure why this guy didn't fire. There we go. I was going to say, that guy should definitely be firing. We have some damage done to us here, but this doesn't do that much damage to infantry. And with us being in cover like that, it did almost no damage at all. You're going to move. Fortunately, that was my mistake there. Here. This guy is definitely dead this turn. I'm trying to see if we can kind of get it done to a certain minimal degree. So I don't have to move too many units. Do it. I think these guys will be able to do the finish here, yeah. Now that we've got that healing, what are these things called? Obelisks, whatever. Uh, now, this shouldn't be too bad. These guys should be able to move up. Now, if I move them here, they will get attacked by the city. So maybe not the best move. Let's move here instead. I think that we will have a reaction shot on us, but we'll be able to fire back. Fine, we didn't get anything. Okay. I mean, firing into the city, we're not going to have the greatest results, but we can move our sentinel up have it do something. There's that reaction shot. Okay. But see, the thing with the orcs is cover, you know, helps them to a certain extent, but then again, the fact that they're, they take morale damage, you're damaging their morale. So... Yeah, so we're, we're doing damage to both these units just by attacking, even though we're not doing that much damage. Okay. Don't have line of sight, which is the reason why you didn't get a reaction shot off. We could use this ability by the time we need it again. Not sure how much it would matter. Honestly, I think we get aggressive here. Let's move our hero up. Move this guy in next to him. We use that ability uh, to give us that AP. Start here. And maybe this is unwise, but... Should be able to do heavy damage here. Made him shaken, so... Almost ready for James Bond. Finish him off. All right, so by continuing to do morale damage, I may actually finish this guy off down here. 
But let's come in here and attack these guys. He's almost he's almost dead. I don't know if we get the vision here. Yeah, we're gonna get it. Back. Another point three down. Almost have him. Um Move here, attack. This will wipe this unit out and possibly kill the other one. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Like, how, what sliver of health do you have? It says one hit point, but I bet you it's less than that. It's probably a fraction of a hit point. Let's move down. The reason why is I actually want these hounds. Well, I don't think there's a way for me to prevent them from getting cover. Actually, I just took away my vision. Well, that sucks. We still get a reaction shot on him, I think. I might be able to take the city without even having any of these support units show up. Because uh, this is just such a heavy force of infantry, and my infantry is, you know, at this stage, fairly powerful. It might be in range to, yeah, there we go. Bye. Uh, do I hold it off for my tank to do something? I so want the I so want this tank to do something. I think it would be quicker. Maybe this way. I mean, basilisk. There we go. The next turn, my basilisk should be able to start hitting the city. So I think now is going to be the time to uh, start moving people into the city and seeing what we can get done. With that. More units go down here. Okay. This was finished. Should be able to. Get the. Where are you? Oh. I have 75 or. Um, so what do we want to build here? Food's fine. I guess we could go with more research. We've never built one of these. Um, what is the one thing that they want me to build? They want me to build a... I don't know if that's something I can build at this... Oh, there it is. Influence. Well, I mean, it's going to take time anyway. Let's go with the research. Okay, let's end the turn. But yeah, I don't think we're going to get that quest line done anytime soon. Especially as the Space Marines are coming in to help me out. Alright, let's move into the city. Draw the fire. Okay. So as long as I can hit the city, I don't see a point in moving any further up. Not sure why, but we can't really move up that far here. Two damage. Have you move here? Back. City. I 
can take damage like that one more time, so I'm not going to use a medical pack yet. You guys move into the city? Yeah, I mean, just with the imagery, uh, I don't think the city's going to last long. I'm sure if we can see it from here. Find out. We're going to go around this way to see what we can do from this whole lot. I'm going to come over there. You have a heavy, heavy weapon squad. Yeah, they can hit it from outside the city. Not going to do as much damage from outside the city, but it's beyond what the uh, city can respond to. There. There's going to be an absolute swarm of infantry here. Here we can skip. Need to be in range. One, four, five. This is good enough. And in theory, in three turns, our damage will be even better for the ordnance weapons. Have these guys heal. I don't really need this much infantry. This stage of the game. This is uh, this is a done deal. Or tank, I don't think is going to really get involved. That's in the turn. That guy's not going to live long. Be able to take this infantry out. Hero. Doing stuff too. Well, that didn't do that much damage. Okay. We're going to run away. Kill yourself. Don't have a medical pack, so that's pretty much you. Um, sure, move here so you can attack that guy. I wonder. I moved the tank in close enough. We have four movement, so maybe if I move this infantry be able to get close enough to uh, hit the city or somebody else. Uh, no, it's probably the river costing us a little bit more extra train cost. I'm going to hit this guy instead. Gives us a little bit of time. Or the uh, city falls. So we can actually get the tank in place here to do something. Now you're going to move up, because you didn't take damages. Now we're doing direct damage. Maybe I should attack this guy. Uh, retrospect, I probably should. Make up for it. No, maybe we couldn't have seen it. I didn't look, to be totally honest with you, so... 
No. That knows around. Guy. Kind of like the uh, the animation he was doing there when he was getting hit. He's not doing it anymore, but that's kind of funny. Um, yeah, I don't think you're gonna live much longer, are you, buddy? Have you uh, move over here and kill him? Attacking. I want to move into the city, so let's move this guy up. Probably be the one to be attacked because he's out in the open. Then. And we're going to have. A few bodies in this city. 14.5 damage without moving. Next turn, I'm going to be able to do the armor piercing ability, so. Yeah, I don't think the city's going to live much longer. Yep. You in there, and you can use the accuracy bonus. Image. This turn, but next turn for sure. I don't even know why I'm moving these units anymore. I, I have more units here than I can actually get in and, and attack. start skipping some of these units because they're they're not going to get anything done anyway sure i'll move you on some off chance that a meteor strikes and kills all my units on that side but yet leaves the city intact order the city i'm just going to tell it to sleep at this point i going to need any more vehicles or any units of any type okay let's see if we can get this sucker done I'm going to try and see if I can use my tank for something. I might even move a unit out just to make sure the tank does something. Because I don't want to risk not getting the sight line. Okay. Move this unit back. Uh, so that we can get the tank in. Oh, I don't think I can get the tank. It's possible I'll be able to see from this spot, though. There we go. Alright, tank. Have fun. I think you only are in range of the... Oh, the laser cannon reach, can reach two. I didn't even pay attention to how much damage that was going to do. Alright, that's not too bad. More effective than the Basilisk. I would have liked to have seen the tank uh, in a more upgraded form, too, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I think with these two heavy weapon teams, this is pretty much a done deal. The second one, I think, would... Bye-bye! Oh. Okay, we got victory! The colony has been saved. Well, what remains of it? The few remaining Xenos are fleeing to the corners of the planet. Hunting them down should be well within the veterans' capabilities. Truly, you are a war leader to rival whoever that person is. With the eventual clearing of the warp storms, the planet will return to Imperial rule. Rogue traders will arrive, its cities will be rebuilt, the skulking civilian population will be bolstered by colonists from nearby sectors, Within a generation, it will be a viable colony again. 
extending its imperial tithe like any other. Within ten generations, it may be a rich world supplying its own regiment to the Imperium. Within a thousand, it may be a depleted hive world, rife with corruption and filth, cramped, impoverished home for future humanity. All this for the glory of mankind and for the Emperor. All right. So the Necron were the strongest, but they had a buff starting out. So for quite a while, they were stronger than anybody else. But uh, let's see, we are the dark green. So we were actually behind the Space Marines, according to this, the whole way. Uh, now that's total score. I'm guessing military were probably going to be pretty good. So everybody's about equal on economy. I think I was slightly above, but that's what I focused on. I focused on economy because in my opinion, the Imperial Guard, it's a lot about getting your economy going and then going from there. I think there are some lessons to be learned for me from this playthrough uh, that I would maybe do some things differently. For one thing, I may have focused more on getting uh, more cities early. Uh, and I didn't really do that at all in this playthrough. I didn't feel like I needed to, but uh, in other playthroughs, I think it'd probably be more important because it it gets your economy going even further. And it allows you to get that ball rolling even more in your favor. But yeah, if you can stay on top of the economy, I think for the Imperial Guard, then you're in a good spot. Militarily, again, uh, it's saying the Space Marines, but I did eventually overcome them. So I guess it's research. Maybe I was a bit behind. Yeah, according to this, I was fairly far behind on research. Never even surpassed where the Necrons were. But that's just the way I did my, my playthrough. Again, I focused more on economy than other things. I didn't get that far ahead of the AI, I guess, but it was good enough, and my military was, you know, it was strong throughout. Uh, according to this, again, the Space Marines had, a, had an advantage over me. I don't, I'm not really sure how, because they never really had that many units. But maybe that's just the, the value of units being prepared. Okay, let's exit to the main. And I think that's pretty much it for this playthrough. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I really enjoyed uh, this game. Definitely, it has room for improvement. And I think there's also room for making the game, uh, you know, just tweaking the settings that I used. Uh, next time I were to play a new game... I probably would boost the difficulty a bit, but one thing that I've heard discussed, and this is obviously after I started my playthrough because I started my playthrough fairly soon after the game launched, so I didn't have the opportunity to see other people talk about the game. But one thing that uh, has been talked about, and I didn't really look at the advanced settings at all, but is removing the wildlife density, or lowering it, I should say. Because as we saw, the wildlife density is pretty outrageous, and people did tests of this, and they found that if the wildlife density is left on its default setting, it's actually so high that it stymies the uh, AI. So the AI is actually fairly good in this game, but with a lot of wildlife density, the AI can't really cope with it. And it holds them back so far that when you get to them, it seems like they haven't done anything. But it, that's not the case. It's just that the, the wildlife density or the wildlife AI has just been devastating them. So if you turn that down, it actually uh, makes the AI do a lot better. But still, there's probably room to be said for increasing the uh, AI difficulty as well. Uh, for somebody that's at an experience level uh, of me, I've only really played the game through once, this one time. But still, I'm used to turn-based games. I'm pretty experienced at them. So as much as there was room for improvement in my gameplay, I think that I'm up for the task of doing a little bit uh, harder AI. I still like the setup that I did. I liked having uh, the AI uh, ally in the Space Marines. Uh, I think that was compelling with me being the uh, Imperial Guard. I liked having two uh, Orc enemies. That was pretty cool too. I think that they, they did a decent job of supporting each other. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the one enemy was too close to me and I was able to pen them in and they really never got going. But the second AI, they did pretty well, in my opinion, the second AI uh, orc. And then, as I said, they did work together. So I would like to play around with using allies uh, more in the future if I do play this game. And then having the, the Necron, they were fairly competent as well. Uh, that boost, I think, helped them out. 
And I think they did all right by themselves. It's just, I focused them down and that's why they died first is because I knew that they were a threatening opponent and I focused them down. But if I hadn't done that, they might have had more opportunity to uh, expand and be a threat. But as I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.